What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zetro's Toxic Vault. Today, I have a really good friend, a really good guest, Mr. Billy Garut from Silly Strings Guitar Services. What's up, brother? What's up, man? Good to have you in here, man. Hell yeah. What are, we, you work on guitars. Talk about this one. This one's kind of special to us. This is a very special guitar. <laughs> I've seen it somewhere before, I think. Mm-hmm. Well... So, uh, hold on, let's redo this. Um, didn't make a mention about the spider, and when you're ready for the guitar, oh, right. <laughs> well, I got all these shit things. You know what? I've been doing head. these for since oh, three sorry. o'clock today. I know. This oh. is like episode number six, okay? And when, so, and when you're ready for the guitar, I wouldn't dive right into the guitar. Right, right, right. I felt that too. Okay, let me go. And then when you are ready for the guitar, pick it up. Okay. Um, pick it up and hold it and just. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's just go. Again. Okay, I, I got it. Ready? What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zetro's Toxic Vault. I have a special guest with me today, Mr. Billy Garou from Silly Strings Guitar Services. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good. Hey, the spider didn't fucking do anything to you when you walked down. Uh, itsy bitsy didn't get my head. Yeah, yeah, you're lucky. Some people it does. Eh, it's in here. So anyway, I know you from... The Bay Area scene, and I know your family, and working from you know, and the bands, and you you know, your guitar player for Cultural Warfare, but um, you do guitar work, and you work on axes and that sort of thing. So talk a little bit about that. How you got into that? And um, I know you're a great player, but mm -hmm. how did you get into like you know actually working on guitars? And uh, well, when I was 14, I had a, a really good friend that. I'd always want different pickups and stuff like that put in. So I didn't know how to do it. So he would do it and I would always watch him. And then he moved away. So I started learning how to do it by myself. Fast forward into 2019, I opened up a guitar shop in Petaluma, California called Silly Strings. And, uh, you know, the retail side of things got to be a little much. So I decided to just take the guitar repair side home with no overhead and start doing what I love to do at home. And so what types of stuff do you do to the guitars? Actually everything quite possibly from one end to the other? Pretty much, you know, uh, what's the most common thing that people come to you and go, Billy, I need setting intonation, uh, setting their, the, you know, the pickups. Cause I know that I heard Gary and, and, and Lee and all the guitar players that there's a certain height they like them at. And I mean, I'm a singer, so I don't know shit about this. So enlighten us on that. I would have to say that the majority of the guitars brought to me have to do with the Floyd. Yeah. Which is the trouble. Oh, yeah. The Floyd uh, Rose, you know, and owner. nobody's ever really made a better one, right? No, nope. It's it's just the tremolo to have. Now, how many? How common is that now? Because I know in the '80s, coming up, that was everybody had had a you know tremolo bar with Floyd Rose on it. But today, not a lot of guitar players really use them. Well, I know my my guys do. Mm -hmm. I know Lee doesn't, but Gary does. Yeah. You know, so yep. I would say, you know people tinker with the Floyd and then they whack out the guitar, you know, and then they don't know how to fix it, put it back, you know, or if they change a string gauge that the guitar didn't come with when the guitar was set up with the Floyd and they put maybe a heavier gauge string on the guitar, then it's going to pull the tremolo forward and then it's not going to feel right. And they don't know how to fix it. You know, uh, the whole system is just basically, works off of it's it's a fulcrum system so it works off of springs in the back which kind of pull the system up or down is there um i mean levels of more expensive ones and less expensive ones is there is there ones that are better than other because i know floyd rose is the floyd is the, the original but there's, the original. there's does he make better models or lesser models there's so one? many models of floyds uh -huh. now and ranging from Eighty dollars to five hundred dollars. Uh -huh. So, like the five hundred dollar version, you're getting full titanium. You know, sustained, gigantic it's sustained, sustained block. It's all about. So, if the you sustain. bend, it, you come right back into tune, mm -hmm. no problem. And that's a big problem with 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 that, which it's always been with you know people going yeah, off the, on the anything. cheaper the cheaper tremolos. They're just you know they're made out of die cast and just not very reliable. But you have all kinds of good tremolos, you know, uh, licensed Floyd Rose tremolos, Godot, you know, the Ibanez Edge, 
the tremolo that came on like the eighties Ibanezes. Those are great. And, um, do you have a lot of like clientele right now? Do you have a lot of people that are coming and having you work on their guitars actually? How's the, how's the business with that? It's going, you know, when I, when I closed the shop down, I wasn't, I was a little discouraged because I thought maybe the shop was bringing in the clientele, which it was, but the shop also helped me establish the clientele. And, uh, it seems like it's going pretty smooth. It's, it's going good. good. Well, we have one here. I'm kind of familiar with, I've seen this guitar somewhere before. And um, what are you going to do to this? What do, what do you have to do to this one? Talk about that. I know I see scalloped frets, so I know who that was. Yeah, this is a this is a special axe, and it's weird how things just came into play. But this guitar used to belong to Gary Holt, your guitar player. There was only two of them made for him. One of them got stolen, and this one ended up getting sold to a guy that recently brought it to me who was in the band Unjust from the Bay Area. But it's going to go back to Gary. Is that what you're saying? I guess they have worked a deal back behind the scenes. There's been a deal worked out that this guitar is going to return home. Well, I said a little story. Didn't you, didn't you didn't take a picture of that and send it to Gary? I sent the picture to Gary and he responded right away with that's my guitar. Wow. Where is it? Amazing. So I told him, you know, who brought it to me and Gary and Russ know each other. And uh, Russ pretty much said, yeah, you know, it's Gary's guitar, dude. I'll sell it back to him if he can hook me up with an ESP because he's he's an ESP fanatic. Right, yeah. And, He'll uh, probably give you one of his own models. I mean, I don't know, but yeah. you know, and his models kick ass. Gary's guitars at ESP are just amazing. They're beautiful. The Prince, Actually, the Prince EC is yeah, just, it's just beautiful, it's awesome. amazing guitars. Yeah. So, so what are you going to do to this, Billy? Uh, I'm going to set it up, clean it up, and I mean, it's going back to Gary. It's got to play like butter. I, I, yeah, like butter. Now it's let's talk about that. Oh yeah, you want to take that, Wayne? Thanks. It's our producer, Wayne. We have help on the set. So let's talk about this Black Butter. That's your new slogan? It's my new slogan. I've been given that slogan by multiple people. So So it's got to play like butter, right? It's got to be easy. It can't yeah. be hard and, you know, you want to you wanna shred. You got to look that way, though, gotta, man. Yeah. You got to have that look on your face about yourself. I mean, some guys, like, if you're a blues player, you know, you want high action and thick strings. Stevie Ray Vaughan, I mean, you know, that's a different story. But playing the music that we play, it's got to it's gotta be fast. and It's got to be fast. Fast and sharp, articulate. Well, tell everybody where they can get their guitars work done by you. I know that you live in Petaluma, but, you know, you can ship things everywhere if you want stuff done. And this guy is incredible. I mean, if you want your axe done, he's a metal guy. He knows what to do. Tell us where we can go to get you. Well, I do pick up in the North Bay and the Bay Area. So to make it more convenient for the customer, I will come to you and bring it back to you. Let's say some guy in Boston sees, knows that you've worked on Gary's guitars and wants you. Can he send his guitar to you and have stuff done? He sure can. There you go. Well, tell us where we can get a hold of you. Let us give us all your information on Silly Strings Service. You can go to Facebook, Silly Strings Guitar Services, um, or you can call me direct at 510-827-8113. And all of you creeps out there, don't call him and bother him because he's not going to pick up your phone, right? <laughs> I'll pick up. All right. Hey, brother. Good to have you in here. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, yeah. It was, it's so much fun. And I mean, good luck on, on Silly String Guitar Services. And good luck on Cultural Warfare, mm-hmm. too, his band. So, you know, go see. If you haven't checked it out, if you didn't see the episode I did with the um, local bands that I did part with him, go check out Cultural Warfare. And we'll do this again. Cool. Leave me comments. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know what you guys think about this kind of stuff. And subscribe to my channel other than that we will see you in the vault real soon horns up buckers